attention to why we're here on this campus and what many students are very interested in, and that is the fact that, Congressman Paul, right now we are looking at student loan debt that is near $1 trillion. Americans owe more on student loans right now than credit cards, and the average debt for a college senior right now is over $25,000. It's obviously a very hot topic right here on this campus and with students across the country. Just listen to what they have to say. Tuition rates have increased roughly three times that of inflation over the last three decades. More students have to take out loans or forego college. My generation is graduating with student debt levels at an unprecedented level. So, Congressman Paul, you've already talked about the fact that you want to get rid of the Department of Education. You've said that you want to get rid of federal student loans. So how would you make college more accessible, more affordable for these students and students around the country? Well, I think you proved that the uh, policy of student loans is a total failure. I mean, a trillion dollars of debt, and it's going to be dumped on the taxpayer. And what have they gotten? A poor education and costs have skyrocketed because of inflation and they don't have jobs. There's nothing more dramatically failing than, than that program. So, no, there is no authority in the Constitution for the federal government to be dealing with education. We should get rid of the pro loan programs, we should get rid of the Department of Education, and give tax credits if you have to to help people. But the inflation is the big problem. Three times the rate that the government admits inflation is, and that is natural and normal. When governments inflate the currency, it goes in the areas that the government gets involved. In. Housing, high prices, Scott. Stock market, skyrocketing prices. Medical care, skyrocketing. Educa Wait, education. How do they pay for it? How do they now pay for college the, if the they're way, not? The way you they, pay for cell phones and computers. You have the marketplace there. There's competition. Quality goes up, the price goes down. Can you imagine what it would be like if the De Department of Homeland Security was in charge of finding one person or one company to make the cell phones? I mean, it would have been a total disaster. So when the government gets involved in the delivery of any service, whether it's education, medical care, or housing, they cause higher prices, lower quality, create bubbles, and they give us this mess that we're in. That's why we have to eventually get our, our we have to wise up and look at where the bubbles come from. It's from the Federal Reserve, and we should start by auditing the Fed, and then we should end the Fed. Congressman. Thank you, Congressman. Speaker Gingrich, Congressman Paul just talked about a bubble.